for that puck. Puck loops and it's bounced in. Ahmed Mahfouz with the first goal of tonight's contest here in Winston-Salem, New York. Mahfouz now with 30. Four goals on the season, 1-0 Dayton, 1903 left to go in the first. And to just recap that, Mafus had a puck float over the net of Matt Anthony, and Mafus tapped it in past the left shoulder of the veteran Watertown goalie, and that's how Demons take their 1-0 lead, 57 seconds into our contest. Mercer wears number four as the puck zips right towards Matt Anthony on the left-hand side, taken away by Tremblay, turnover, Waheed Dodge, he finds the back of the net, giving Dayton a 2 nothing lead with 18.26 left to go in our first period for Waheed Dodge, that's his 17th goal on the season. 2 nothing Dayton, 18.26 left to go in our first period. Thank you. So with that being said, Dayton has a 2-0 lead right now. Mafus with his 34th strike and Darge with his 17th. So the Demons off to a very hot start here in Winston-Salem. And was just too soon on that. Hicks sliding right near Matt Anthony. Meanwhile, turnover in the neutral zone, center ice. Picked up by Aiken. Aiken leaves it behind. Taguna's shot off of Matt Anthony. And does he make it? No, it goes behind the cage of Matt Anthony. And Dayton now leads 3 to nothing with 12.44 left to go in our first period. The goal horn sound. And that gives us a 3 nothing lead in favor of Dayton. as the Gary Glitter song, Rock and Roll Part Two, I believe is called, but fans know it as the Hey, Hey, You Suck song. Dayton off to a three goal lead thus far. The fans chiming in with the music. Wartown has had some great opportunities thus far and Kalzinski has come in for Matt Anthony. Angling out a demon right in the Watertown bench. But Felton's got it. We have a loose call of a wad. He's still holding on to that demon. Marks has it. Marks shot. Score. But wait. As play ended. A wad with his helmet off. He's got a fight on that forehand side. And he's trying to take that demon down. A wad. He has taken a demon down. A wad had that demon over that Watertown bench rail. And Awad comes away with it, helmet off. And he pumps up this fan crowd. He heads towards the Watertown bench. He pumps up the fans with his right arm. And I'm trying to see who he got. So Awad is in the box for fighting. He had a demon tangled up and he took a little bit of time to finish him off. And it looks like Awad is being shown the corner as there's 3.41 left in the first. So right now, there's no one in the penalty box for either side. Referee Spies, he's talking over with alternate captain Jesse Felton and captain Britt Olette. The Stripes talking it over. It is a 3-0 Dayton lead with 3.41 left to go in the first period here. And Winston-Salem, New York, one of two neutral side games. Watertown's playing the second one as well. But they're taking on the Danville Dashers in Connellsville, Pennsylvania at the Ice Mine. Difference between Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and Connellsville, Pennsylvania is the Pennsylvania town never has had pro hockey, but that is definitely Penguins country as it's very close to Pittsburgh. Also, some Philadelphia Flyer fans, I'm sure, are sprinkled around too. But like I mentioned here, the fan base, it is a beautiful turnout, especially on this side. Not a lot of seats. And on the other side, great turnout by Winston-Salem, New York. Great fans, nice people too. As we will have a penalty against Watertown put on the board. That was a wad, and I believe that two minutes is for roughing. And Brent Wall, who was a wad's victim, he's in there two minutes as well. But I believe both gentlemen will be out 
for the rest of the first period. Right of the net, Jesse Felton bumps it around. Felton back in the near corner, 40 seconds remain in the first. Shot by Dan Mercer, swooped around, Kalzinski can't put it in, and there it is, Roger Daguna with the fourth goal of the game. 4-0 Demons, 35 seconds left in the first. Taguna with goal number 18 on this 2013-2014 campaign. First goal allowed by Kalzinski on the night. The first three goals were allowed by Matt Anthony, and he would be pulled with 12.43 left to go in the first. Taguna with goal number 18 on the season chest he can't handle the pass but back over for Mercer Mercer scores it bounces in it might have been deflected by the demons first but Mercer gets a bouncing puck through he'll get a point at least and that will be his first point in the demons jersey in his third game with Dayton and the demons back up by three five to two with 14 21 left to go in the second Five to two, Dayton, 14-21 left to go in the second. In the center face-off circle, it's Clark taking on Jared Hicks. Referee holds up his right hand. Brian Marks credited with an assist, and that would be assist number 29 for the captain. Shot off Kalzinski, and Kalzinski lands on it. Couple of fists, Mafu's going at it with a privateer. That's Ray Tremblay, and the stripes are quick to break it up. Kalzinski out of his crease. The fans want to see a fight. They're booing at the Stripes saying, why you got to break up that fun? But the Stripes say there will be a fight another day. Shot Kalzinski off his right knee, and it'll cover up the rebound with just two seconds left on the second period and a minute one on the Dayton five on four. Just two seconds remain in our second period of 20 minutes. Hard to believe that we're already heading towards the third period. This game has gone by pretty quickly, actually. And as a broadcaster, that's sad for me to say because I love bringing the action to you, the listener, tonight. Two seconds, one second. That's the end of the second as there's a shot off the backboards. And wait a minute. We have McCarthy going at it with a demon in the near corner. McCarthy tangled it up with Dustin Skinner. Former teammates of Watertown, they're going at it. Skinner has his jersey pulled right behind his throat on his back. He's got McCarthy down by his stomach. Skinner with a slam at the backbone. Another slam as Skinner and McCarthy going at it. The two are tangling it up and the fans are loving it. Skinner has his jersey pulled over his head. There's McCarthy going at it. We got another fight and that's broken up quickly. And it looks like McCarthy and Skinner, that fight will bid it do. We have a privateer on the ice. McCarthy pumps up his hands, pumping the fans right in front of us. Meanwhile, there is another fight going on. Lots of shoving. Aiken has Kalzinski right at his back. The two linesmen are trying to break it up. And we still have some action. I can't tell who is on who. But it looks like a privateer is down with a demon hugging him over. Not a good hug, mind you, but a, hey, I mean business hug. Right now there's a demon right now. I can't tell who it is. I thought I'd seen a five. That's going to be Ahmed Mafuz. Taking on Brett Clark, the head coach. Mafus tosses his helmet towards Brett Clark. It's not every day you get to see a head coach fight. But we got that opportunity tonight. Mafus takes on Clark. And it looks like both gentlemen are taking back the other way. Mafus still mapping off of Clark. You know, that's not going to end very pretty here tonight. But both teams end to the respected locker rooms. End of the second period. The Dayton Demons 5 and the Watertown Privateers 2. Still 59 seconds of the J.D. Gordon penalty. And that will resume in the third period. So stay with us, folks. We'll try to get an interview with you. On from the third, 5-2 Dayton. 
Laced around, there's Brian Marks. He's got Mignon towards his right. Felton's over there. Shovels and scores! Jesse Felton with a power play goal! His 24th on the season. And the Demons lead again by four at 6 to 2. 1944 left to go in the third. Jesse Felton with the power play goal. The first power play goal we've seen tonight as JD Gorn escapes from the box. 1944 remains in the third. Dayton looking for their 25th regulation win and coach Trevor Karazowicz's 30th win as a head coach of the Dayton Demons. And Aiken picks up the stopped puck by Kalzinski. A little miscommunication there as Aiken shoves it back. There's a shot and they score! The Huber Heights, Ohio native says hello to Winston-Salem. It's Brett Wall with his third strike of the season, and it's a 7-3 Dayton lead with 10-43. 10-48 left to go in the third. I tell you, these fans, they got their money's worth here tonight. Ten bucks got you a ticket, and I believe it was five bucks for parking. Very, very worth very, very worth it tonight. Worth the admission and worth so much more. As you can smell the popcorn roaming up here in the top section of Section 5. That's where we're at in the broadcasting row. As the faceoff goes all the way back towards Jeff Rose, he readies his golf stick, his goalie stick. Five seconds left. Shot in the neutral zone off the stick of Jeff Rose. Bell Shea plays it. That is the end of our game tonight. Your final score, the Dayton, Ohio Demons, seven, and the Watertown, New York Privateers, five. With the win, Dayton improves to 30, 10, and three on the season. Coach Karazowicz picks up his 25th regulation win as a coach and his 30th overall. Watertown falls to 16, 23, and four. So the players that Made it. They all stand in center ice. They face the Winston-Salem fans saying thank you for supporting us tonight. Great turnout of fans as they head for the doors. You can't ask for much more. A great hockey game. Great turnout tonight. Very, very loud fans. Very, very good people as well. And a free souvenir from Sean Fisher as he loops it towards a fan in a Washington Capitals jersey. With that being said, we have the three stars of the game, and then we'll recap tonight's game for you here on the Gem City Sports Network. We'll be back after this.